Today is February the 26th, excuse me, not the 26th, the 27th, February the 27th, and our title is Chiseled, C-H-I-S-E-L-E-D, Stone B. Chiseled Stone B. Let's get our sketchbooks open up here. Looks like I'm on to a new page. Don't forget, when you move to a new page, to divide your paper both vertically, up and down, and horizontally, left to right, so that you have four boxes to work from. I'm going to work from my top left-hand corner box, and also put the date inside the box. So what we're going to do is we're going to start with a very simple stick letter B. Make sure it connects, just like that. Okay? Basic B. Very easy. Okay, now we're going to outline all the way around it. So I'm going to come over a little bit and I'm going to come down. And then I'm going to come over the top to the middle. Bring it in. I'm going to come out like this and down and around. Okay, so that's the outside of the B. We still need the inside of the B. How we're going to do that is I'm going to come over the same width as this, so about to here. And I'm going to bring this down and follow the loop. I'm going to do the same thing up here, just making a shape within a shape. Okay, now we just need to put some angles in and some shading and we'll be done. We're going to have an angle at the top here and here. We're also going to have an angle at the bottom here and here. And then lastly, we're going to have an angle between this point and this point and this point and this point. So now we just need to go in and add some shading to help make this look 3D. So I'm going to do some shading from dark to light starting right here fairly dark, medium gray, and as I move around the inside, I'm going to make it lighter and lighter and lighter, like that. I'm going to do the same thing right here. Make it fairly dark, but as you move around, it's going to get lighter and lighter and lighter, just like that. Okay? We're going to do another shadow down the left side right here. This one is going to go from dark to medium and light and back to dark again. Okay. On the bottom, very bottom, we're going to go dark inside here and lighten it as we move up the B. Okay. Last shading on the inside of the B is going to be right in here. This is going to be fairly dark. And as you move up, lighten it up. Okay? Pretty easy. So our last step in making this B is going to be to fill it in solid. So we're going to do the inside completely solid black. Okay? Fill it in nicely. But we're also going to do the one at the bottom. It's a shadow in there. Okay. And now we're going to go all the way around in a bubble. And we're going to fill that in solid all the way. So start slow at the edge. And then as you move out towards the outside edge, and you can turn your book if you need to, then you go faster. Okay. So I'm going kind of slow right now just to get it in. And then a little bit faster. Okay, same thing here, slow, then fast, until you have this little bubble that's going around it completely filled. And there you have it. There is your chiseled stone B. I'd like you to make one of these today. Please make sure you watch your proportion. Try to keep the parts of your B equal. You don't want one really fat part, one really skinny part. Try to keep them equal. Also, you need several angles inside here. Don't forget them. You've got them at the top, at the bottom, 
and in towards the middle. Also, don't forget your shading from dark to light in all of these areas. And you've got a solid shading all the way around in a small bubble and solid shading in the middle of the bee.